Thanks for tuning in to the video channel. My name's Chippy and uh, in this video we're going to take a quick look at the Asus Transformer T100 because in the last few days I've been spending a lot of time with the Lenovo Mix 210 which is uh, this one here. It's a 10 inch Bay Trail based 2-in-1. So it's a tablet with a magnetic keyboard. Tablet first I keep calling it. It's tablet first, laptop second and that's really how the design uh, is focused. Now the other one of course um, that we should all know about by now is the Transformer Book T100. Now these two devices are going to go head to head and I'm sure there's a lot of people out there thinking which one should I buy? So over the next few days I'm going to be doing putting together a, a comparison a Mix 210 versus T100 video. But in this video um, let's just unbox the T100 and just talk you around it a, a little bit and maybe reference the uh, mix to 10 while we're doing that. Thanks to Intel Germany for sending it over. Uh, it gives us an opportunity next week to really put the two head to head and uh, give you some advice and uh, tips and specs and differences that allow you to make your decisions. Right, let's get into the unboxing of the Transformer Book T100. So here we go, Asus Transformer Book T100. This is a sealed retail box, so we'll see. <clears throat> All the differences between the T100 and the Mix 210. Again, thanks to Intel Germany for sending this over. The main reason is that we want to, of course, test this against the Mix 210. So I'm just going to pull everything out of the box. There's plenty of unboxes on unboxing videos on the web, on YouTube, for this, so we don't need to go into too much detail. So um, what I'll do is I'll just put the um, T100 next to the Lenovo Mix 10, which will allow us to get a better overview of what's going on here. Right, so they're both 10-inch uh, devices, 10-inch screens. But there's a slight difference between the two here, and this is one of the, the main differences, and the, one of the main differences that I think um, the average user will be looking at. This is a 1366 by 768 screen. This one is a full HD. In fact, it's uh, slightly bigger. It's 1920 by 1200. So it's a slightly um, uh, better pixel density in the vertical plane. So if you are using it in portrait mode, then um, um, let's just actually give you a demo of that um, face thing. Does that work here? No, all my lighting is screwed up, so that's not going to work. Um, this is smooth all round. The Mix 10 has quite some sort of sharp cantered edges on the bottom side, which I, I think that the T100 actually feels a little bit better in the hand. Um, docking ports on the bottom. Let's just quickly go around the devices. They're pretty much the same. I'm not sure if I can put them in, uh, next to each other. There we go. So power in the same position on both of them. Uh, on this one we've got micro HDMI, micro USB on this side, a micro SD card slot there as opposed to the Mix 2 which has the um, volume button. On the other side you've got the volume button and the power button on here but on the Mix 2 you've got uh, the headset, the HDMI, micro USB, You've got your micro SD card slot and a blanked off SIM card slot. So this Mix 2 is one that's going to be coming with 3G option, power and speaker there. Now on the, um, on the, now hold on a minute. Where is the, uh, ah, okay, sorry. This was a headset port, not the power port. So power is going to come through the dock or through the micro USB in terms of charging there. But there's not really much difference in the weight or the size they are really really evenly matched um, the Lenovo probably look, looks a little bit tidier a little bit smarter I like the look of the shape although that might be not, might not be as practical as the T100 but they are both plastic the T100 is obviously going to be a fingerprint magnet the Lenovo uh, not so much but you may be finding more scratches on the Lenovo than on the T100 as that glossy finish probably repels scratches a little bit better than the matte finish on the T100. So that's the um, the tablet part of it. They both have the same CPU inside. That's the 7430. Um, 
uh, sorry, 3740 is the 1.34 gigahertz to 1.8 gigahertz quad core Bay Trail CPU in that. Two gigs of RAM in both of them and up to 64 gigs of SSD in this and up to 128 gigs of SSD in the Lenovo. Neither, neither of them come with a four gig um, option. This one has a 34 watt hour battery inside and this one has a 24 and a half or 25 watt hour battery inside. So that's it for the batteries. There's no batteries in the base units. This is going to have longer battery life than this by quite a margin. So this is, you know, the more, um, yeah, not the more mobile, but the, the device you could probably take for, uh, you know, a day out without having to worry about uh, charging better than this one. Right, let's have a look at the uh, keyboard docks now. Um, these are passive keyboard docks in terms of them being basically just USB devices. Um, there's the Lenovo one here, but let's get the Asus one out here. Oh, that's really sealed in, okay. Um, okay, well I'm gonna have to rip that off, that's a shame. Ah, oh, no, there we go, there we go. I can just slide it out of there, good. Right. So immediately, <clears throat> I can feel that the T100 keyboard is slightly heavier than the 10.2 keyboard. But the total weight of, um, of them both is actually about the same, about 1,100 grams. Um, just, you know, just over the um, two point, I think 2.3 pounds in total. So in total weight, not much difference. You'll see quite a bit of difference in the key layout here. So Asus have gone for a one, two, three, four, five, six row keyboard with the function keys on top. Lenovo have chosen to go for a five row keyboard. They've dropped the function keys and put them in uh, behind a function button on the numeric row. Um, which is not so good for people who use function keys, but it does allow the keys themselves to be much, much bigger. And they really are much, much bigger than the keys on the T100. The only thing I'll say is that the layout is slightly, slightly different. Um, where you've got, let's take the Q look, and the, where the one button is in relation to the Q, that's your normal position. But on this one, it's the other way. So actually the numerics are slightly, slightly offset T, uh, on here five is directly above the T so you're gonna get caught out on that I got caught out on that pretty um, uh, immediately on the T100 and um, I'm still trying to get used to it now having said that the actual new um, the alpha keys are much much easier to hit than those on smaller devices this is a slightly bigger throw than the T100 because it's a slightly thicker device let's see if I can actually show you the thickness there the T100 is a, uh, has a, a rounded corner, so you can't really see the thickness very well, but uh, maybe I can hold it like that and you can see that the, the T100 is a slightly thinner keyboard. Track pads are um, similar size, but the, uh, the button press on the T100 is much harder and much louder. <clears throat> I actually prefer the much smoother button press of the uh, 10.2 there. Now you will also see that the uh, hinge has a slight uh, difference, when in fact it's a very, very significant difference. Now the T100 has a magnetic hinge, you can't adjust the angle on it as you can on the T100. Uh, but it does get away with all this um, heavy hinge mechanism here. The problem is, let's just, sorry, let's just get that locked in properly, there we go. <clears throat> now that when that is in laptop mode, it is quite a bit thicker than the T100 and it does have this ugly thing at the back but you're not going to lose that display off the uh, keyboard there. Now the T100 it is possible to lose the display off the keyboard. Now you'll see in another video I've done that uh, it's quite difficult to do that and in carrying it normally you just you're not going to lose that uh, um, screen but I would recommend if you're um, if you're carrying it around a lot a cover for this whereas this one is going to be a nice solid single unit when it's uh, docked. But you can look at the differences in, um, in thickness on the back end there. It's quite significant when you take into account this chunky bit here. And uh, I really like the, the sort of tidy look of the Mix 210. So if looks are important to you, the 210 is obviously a little bit uh, 
a little bit nicer. Let's go back to the keyboard then, have a look at the, the ports on that. <coughs> so we have a USB 3 connector on this. Nothing on the other side. And do we have power on the power input on this one? We don't. So there's no power input on this, just one USB 3. On the Lenovo, we have two USB 2s, okay? So this is quite um, a difference uh, and fairly unique for the T100. It has a USB 3 port there. So that could be interesting if you're using, for example, multiple uh, display port connected monitors externally for your desktop. And, um, you know, you can put a USB 3 hub on there and basically be happy that you can connect um, a couple of screens, your, your hard drive, your um, keyboard and mouse, etc., etc. That is pretty much the only difference in terms of ports there. So that's a, a look around the, the T100 in relation to the Lenovo Mix 10. You know, the screen is really the main difference. The resolution is lower on here, but you've got the screen adjustment and the locked uh, capability there. On this one you've got a much higher res, but it's not a locked unit. Having said that, it's really nice to just be able to pull that off and, uh, and run away with it. This is very much more the tablet than the laptop, whereas this one has very much uh, sort of 50-50 in terms of it being a, a laptop style device and then a tablet um, by taking it off like that. I don't know which one I prefer at the moment. Um, I'm not a huge, huge fan of, of, of high-res uh, densities on the Windows desktop. Um, so I'm not sure, um, maybe I'll prefer the 3066 by 768. Certainly in Metro, um, it won't make much difference apart from the, you know, the accuracy of fonts and, uh, and the, um, the smoothness of some of the, uh, the images and stuff like that, but we'll, we'll see. So that's it for the unboxing of the uh, T100. Stay tuned to the channel because there'll be more coming up. So the T100 and uh, Lenovo Mix 2 slapdown, as they say in America, is going to occur on umcportal.com. And uh, we'll also be checking it out uh, in relation to the old Asus W510. Now, Asus. Acer, sorry, haven't come out with a new updated model of this with Bay Trail, so it'll be interesting to see if they do so um, over the next months. And uh, before I sign off, isn't it worth just showing you this from about 2009, I think, which is a 10 inch Lenovo netbook with rotating screen. Um, and with this huge battery on the bottom, it got to about six hours battery life, which was a breakthrough at that point. Problem is it weighs about 1.4 kilograms and still had, I think, only a, a 1280 by 800 screen. Things have changed. My name's Chippy. I'm uh, at Chippy on Twitter, umcportal.com for the uh, website. And don't forget to subscribe to the video and thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.